Hello, everyone, and welcome to the Oral Health Forum. We would like to present to you Tooth Truth Time. This edition is for third through fifth grade, e-learning style. Let's get started with some tooth tricks. Did you know that we use our teeth every day? Can you think of three ways that we use our teeth for? Hmm. Number one, talking. We use our teeth to make sounds with our tongue that form words. Let's try an exercise to test this out. Here we go. Try saying the phrase, teeth to talk. Good. Now, this time, hold your tongue at the bottom of your mouth. On the count of three, say the phrase, teeth to talk, while holding your tongue down. Let's try together. Ready? One, two, three. Coo, coo, cock. <laughs> Does this sound silly? Well, it's because we need our teeth to talk. Yes, teeth are very important. Number two, eating. We use our teeth to break down foods so we can swallow and enjoy our meal. We all love to eat. And number three, smiling. We can use our teeth to show our beautiful, bright smiles. Say cheese. Now let's talk about tooth trouble. What gets our teeth in trouble? Cavities, ouch. A cavity is a hole in your tooth. You have little germs, also known as bacteria, that are invisible inside your mouth. When you have sugary foods or drinks, the bacteria come out and eat the sugar. Then they make sticky film called plaque. Bacteria plus sugar equals plaque. Over time, plaque makes acid that creates a hole or cavity in your tooth. Cavities can be very painful and the hole can grow larger over time. Ouch. So, do you want to protect your teeth from cavities? Well, if you do, let's learn how. Tooth tasks. Brushing. Brushing your teeth protects them against cavities, gum disease, and bad breath. First, grab a toothbrush and toothpaste. For toothpaste, you only need the size of a pea. Also, make sure your toothpaste has a special mineral in it called fluoride. Second, brush your teeth in small circles, which cleans all surfaces of your teeth. Be sure to clean way in the back and behind your teeth as well. You also want to make sure you hold your toothbrush at a 45 degree angle. Note, you can use a regular manual toothbrush or an electric spin brush. Both work well to clean your teeth. Brushing your tongue will give you fresh breath and remove icky bacteria. Be sure to brush in downward strokes. For demos on how to brush and floss, check out our website at www.totaltoothtruth.org for videos. Do you know how many times we should brush our teeth each day? Hmm, two times a day. We wanna make sure we brush our teeth in the morning when we wake up and before bed at night. Can you guess how many minutes we need to brush for? I'll give you a hint. 
It's the same amount of times we need to brush our teeth every day. If you said two minutes, you will be correct. Two is the special number for today. We can also keep track of two minutes by singing several songs. You can sing the ABC songs nice and slow two times, or you can sing the happy birthday song two times, nice and slow. Singing, humming, or playing these songs will be great ways to keep track of two minutes. Or you can sing, hum, or play your favorite song, or just put a timer on for two minutes. Flossing. Flossing is very important. It is just as important as brushing. Flossing removes the food in between the teeth. It prevents cavities, gum disease, and smelly breath. When flossing, use an 18 inch piece of floss about the length of your arm and wrap it around your middle fingers. Use your index fingers and your thumbs to guide the floss. Place the floss in between the teeth and gently pulling the floss to one side of the tooth, making a C shape. Then rub the floss up and down. Repeat this motion several times and move to a new piece of floss for the next tooth. Be sure not to go back and forth like a seesaw or you could hurt your gums. See the pictures next to demonstrate. Number one, up. Slide the floss, rubbing in an upward motion. Number two, down. Slide the floss downward, rubbing your tooth in a downward motion. Do you know how many times we should floss each day? This may be a little trickier. Just one time a day, at night, that's the best time to floss. Can you floss? Not the dance move. Check out the tab videos on www.totaltoothtruth.org for demos on flossing and brushing. Dental visits. We want to make sure we visit the dental office to get a regular checkup for our teeth. Do you know how many times we should go to the dental office each year? I'll give you a hint. It's the special number for today. Two times a year. Good job. Let's talk more about the dental office. Visiting the dental office will help to keep our teeth clean. They will take an x-ray of our teeth to see if there are any cavities. They will fill any cavity and they will also clean our teeth. If we have any pain in our teeth, we need to visit our dental office right away so they can fill the hole with a filling. Brushing will not fix the cavity. So let's go to our local dental office to prevent cavities. Tooth treats. What are good treats for our teeth? Hmm. We should eat healthy fruits and vegetables, not sugary foods and drinks. Sugary foods and drinks allow more bacteria to form plaque. Over time, this creates cavities. Here are some examples of sugary foods that can lead to cavities. Ice cream, cupcakes, candy, all of these foods have lots of sugar in them. Eating healthy foods and drinking tap water are the best treats for your teeth. Sugar is okay to have sometimes, but we should mostly eat healthy foods and drink lots of water. Fun fact, chewing sugar-free gum can also help to fight against cavities if you can't brush right away. Drinking water. Water is great for our bodies to stay hydrated and also for our teeth to stay clean. 
Most faucet or tap water has a special mineral in it that fights against cavities. It's also found in toothpaste. Do you remember its name? Can you say fluoride? Good job. Now, let's play a game. Can you list which foods are good for our teeth? We have healthy foods and unhealthy foods. Carrots, is that healthy or unhealthy? Healthy. Apples, healthy. Sodas, unhealthy. Broccoli, healthy. Cookies, unhealthy. Lettuce, healthy. Candy, unhealthy. Let's try to choose many healthy foods to keep our teeth nice and healthy. Ready? Let's play one more game. Can you guess how many cubes of sugar and grams are in the drinks below? One cube of sugar equals four grams of sugar. Coke. Hmm, how many cubes of sugar and grams of sugar are in a can of Coke? 10 cubes, that's 40 grams of sugar. Wow. What about a cup of apple juice? 6.5 cubes or 26 grams of sugar. Orange juice. 5.25 cubes or 21 grams of sugar. Gatorade. 8.75 cubes, that's 35 grams of sugar. Looking at all this sugar, let's make sure we avoid sugary drinks and sugary foods and be sure to drink lots of water. Well, that's the end of our presentation. Give yourselves a round of applause. Thank you so much for listening. And thank you to our funders, the Mars Wrigley Foundation, and also the Ortho Sprague Memorial Institute. Here are some resources used throughout the presentation. This concludes our Tooth Truth Time. Check out our website at www.totaltoothtruth.org for videos of brushing and flossing, as well as fun activities and games. Thanks and have a tooth-tastic day.